What's up dudes, Chooch out here. Look at this little Power Wheels McLaren. This guy literally took a Power Wheels, the full body of a little Power Wheels car that you would buy for your kids or whatever, and he welded the frame to fit perfectly inside of it, fitted some go-kart tires on it, and made the sickest little electric Power Wheels McLaren. I mean, this thing, it flies. And look at the handling on it. I mean, it's serious. Look at you can see how small it is. This is seriously one of the, and this isn't a big Power Wheels. I'd say this thing is smaller than like a Barbie Jeep or any of the the large like four x four styled Power Wheels cars. So this thing is even. I mean, this is a full size man in a Power Wheels car that will go 60 miles an hour. He can go so fast in this little car, going around the corners. He can pitch it up on two wheels, and I mean that. He has four skateboard motors in it, so it's an all-wheel drive car. And he has a uh, skateboard motor on each hub, on, or on each wheel. And then the whole entire bottom uh, bay area, even under the seat, is just nothing but battery packs. And what really throws me off about this thing is just the acceleration on it. Because the go-karts I used to race ran the old Briggs and Stratton motors on the back of them and those things took forever the acceleration was terrible on them so bad that the way you would win a race in a go-kart race was literally by staying on the throttle the entire time so if you could manage to keep the throttle down the entire time even around the corners and not let off and hope that your tires grip that was pretty much what racing was with the Briggs and Stratton motors on the go-karts. But with this thing, it's instant instant acceleration. Like, having a racing league of these little carts right here that this guy built would be just, it would be awesome. I mean, it is, it is fast, guys. I can accelerate quick on the electric unicycle you see me riding here. It'd go about 41 to 42 miles an hour. But that thing goes way faster. And his handling is, a, it's amazing. I mean, that little car is pretty much built for a track like this. And he is going, dude, he is going 50 miles an hour in the Hot Wheels, I shit you not, like straight up. He is going 50 miles an hour in a little uh, Power Wheels, I, sh I keep calling it Hot Wheels, but Power Wheels. The little cars you had as a kid that would literally like literally just make all the noises and barely go and like hold a charge for like 30 minutes. This guy was riding this thing all day out here. I was like, man, that is like a childhood dream. Like, that, legit, dude, if I had that thing as a kid, I would have, you would have never seen me again. I'd have been in the next state, gone on that thing. It is, it is so cool. It is a cool little machine. He had it up on a go-kart stand out there where you could do all the maintenance on it. Uh, I wish I had more details on it and would have spent more time to really inquire about how he built it, everything, all the details. So if somebody wanted to, you know, make one for themselves, they could get a list of parts and et cetera, et cetera. But this event was so fast paced, there was so much going on. And I saw this and I was like, hey man, I, I gotta get a video of this little car and at least put it put it out there and show you guys this thing. Cause he didn't have it out there too much cause you're running races all day. So the only time he could really take it out was like open practice. Cause there wasn't a specific class for this. Cause he was the only one with one of these. But it would be awesome to see more of these in the future. And if people do have a group of like fast electric power wheels and whatnot, we would love to have you join at the next race. If y'all can get together a group big enough to race, like five, six people, definitely, dude. Bring them out and y'all can run them. And the more people we can have, the more cool stuff like this, the more crowd we'll draw, dude. And that's just more people at the track for an event, so... Eventually, we're going to have people out here probably running food vendors and everything in between, man. So, I mean, look at the turnout we had. We had the parking lot packed over here just for an electric unicycle, electric skateboard, um, electric bike, trike, and scooter racing. So, I could definitely see something like a DIY type electric race where people race all kind of different stuff. I mean, electric lawn chairs. Uh, electric surfboards, whatever the hell you want to make. Um, let's do a class for that, man. We got to just run what you brung and make, I mean, electric coolers. I mean, just all kind of stuff, dude. We could, it could really be just a fun class out there. But that thing, you're not going to beat that little uh, Power Wheels. That thing is fast and it is 
really, really cool. It caught my eye. I was like, man, that thing is awesome. I tried to keep up with him. I really did. But there's no way. After like two laps, he's gone. That thing handles really good on that track. It is tiny, but it handles good. So this is what it looks like in the pit area. I wanted to show you all this and keep this in there because a lot of people probably, I mean, including myself, would like to see what the pit area looks like at one of these electric unicycle races now. And look at the turnout, guys. This was a specific electric unicycle race where we had electric skateboards as well they could join, and then um, scooters, but mainly it was all electric unicycles, and the turnout was crazy, guys. And this place is kind of hard to get to for everybody. I mean, it's like an hour and a half away from Los Angeles. It's like, I mean, for me, it was 14 hours away. For a lot of people, it was a, a trek to get here, but look at the turnout, all for electric unicycle racing. And uh, this little thing right here was just something this guy brought along. You can tell a lot of people into this hobby build all sort of contraptions, uh, especially the guys into electric skateboards. They are just brilliant when it comes to all the uh, electrician type work on, on these builds, man. They can wire up a battery pack that'll uh, solve the world energy problems, I, I believe. I think the next person that uh, is going to invent something big is going to be one of these guys that tinkers with these electric skateboards and builds stuff like this because they're they're smart man they come up with these awesome designs of battery packs build little cars like this um it's all just tinkering man and you that's how you create cool stuff so check this out this is someone that has um just this is their first ride ever in this car you could tell so the guy that was driving it before was the fellow that built the car and so this is just somebody giving it a shot for the first time and I may be able to keep up a little bit better following it. Um, somebody that has just given it their first shot because the thing is so fast. It, it's really hard to keep up with it. I mean, even the fastest rider that won the electric unicycle race would struggle keeping up with this little modified Power Wheels car. But this also gives everybody a good idea that may have been on the fence about coming out to these events. If you just want to come out, guys, and you want to just ride and bring... Whatever it is, your electric skateboards, your electric scooters, your one wheels. We even did this thing, guys, where we ran the one wheels through the dirt section of the track because the, the full track, I mean, it would have taken the one wheels a long time to complete the race. So they decided what they wanted to do. And we were like, hey, you know, make your own course pretty much. And they literally made an off-road section for the one wheels that cut through with like some little bumps and jumps and everything like that so even the one wheel, wheel guys had a great time so you can come out here and bring whatever it is even if you don't want to race just come out here and you know watch others race and then whenever the track opens for open track you can go out here and just rip around and enjoy it and it's man the race actually paying the race is what's expensive just getting in to enjoy the open track and enjoy the environment and the vibes and all that it's only like 10 bucks just to get in the, the gate so if you just want to come out and do that, it's really cheap for a great day of riding. And uh, you can see a lot of people that you've seen online out here. Um, all the people from Rev Rides, all the team members and everything, all usually show up to these events. And just a lot of the great riders that you've seen over the years, they pretty much keep showing back up to these. So it's a great way to come out, connect, and uh, check out some new wheels. The S20 was out there. You can demo that. And just a great time all around. 